The concept of SuperGrid is a simple one, that as we build out large-scale renewable energy into the seas of the, the North Sea and the Baltic Sea around Northwest Europe, uh, we need to build the grid connection, not only to bring that power ashore to any one particular country, but to use it to build interconnection uh, around the shores and, and countries of, of Northern Europe. So you can imagine a scenario where we are generating wind energy in the North Sea, but also using that interconnection to bring hydropower from Norway and brown power generally from other countries. Because the, the real potential for wind power specifically, but marine energy generally, is to generate you know, up to a half of Europe's electricity uh, by the middle of the 21st century. And to get there, we need uh, enhanced interconnection. Uh, and that is what the supergrid is. Explain at the moment, of course, the, the grid is far from joined up in that kind of way, and it will obviously involve a huge uh, investment. Well, well, the investment piece is, is, is one that we understand because in, in any country there is a, a regulator who uh, talks with the grid companies and allows them a certain regulated rate of return for their investments in grid infrastructure, onshore grid principally. And, and so you know, we would be applying that model. There would be a slightly higher tariff to incentivize people to get out and build offshore. But if you look at what, what has happened in the oil and gas sector over the last well, 40 years, it's been about building gas interconnection, very quietly, under the sea, nobody's really noticed, but from the 1970s when there wasn't any, to now when you know, Algeria, Algeria is connected to Norway and the West is connected to the East by gas pipelines, we hope to do the same with, with electricity interconnection. And, and, and the real um, beauty of it, uh, as well as providing interconnection and providing a smoothing out of, of renewables so it becomes a, a firm source of power is that you then open up markets in Europe to competition and to trade in electricity. And what we want to achieve at the end of all that is not only uh, very reliable, very sustainable, very clean electricity, but cheaper electricity for consumers across Europe. And that has to be the ultimate goal. Tell me about the uh, Friend of Supergrid yes. uh, campaign. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's more than one friend. <laughs> uh, the Friends of Supergrid is, is a... Uh, an early stage organisation uh, comprised of about 10 companies we hope to grow it, not, not hugely, it's not going to be a membership organisation, but uh, a group of, of companies that share the common objective of seeing Supergrid delivered. So you have companies that, are, that manufacture the, uh, the cables, uh, that uh, will be building the interconnections, and they're doing the R&D, companies like ours who uh, you know, will be developing the wind farms. So it's a, it's a nice cross-section of the industry.